morning all right let's start our day it is 7 30 so this is an off day for me so this is kind of late but uh you gotta sleep in on your off day let's go get it Hey, good morning, Scout. What you doing in there, boy? You wanna come out? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Did you sleep good? So now that we've gotten ourselves taken care of, we gotta take care of Scout. Hey Scout! Come here boy. You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? how long it took me to get up, get dressed, you know, do my face stuff, take Scout out, uh, make sure he gets a good walking, go to the bathroom, fed him. Now it's time to focus on breakfast. And this is what I wanted to show you guys. I just got this new machine recently. It's the Nespresso. This is not sponsored or anything. Although Nespresso, hey, shout out, sponsor me. But uh, I'm, really, I'm really impressed with it. I think it's super cool. I wanna show you guys a little bit about it and how I make my coffee in the morning now. Over here is my coffee corner, little bistro. And this is the Nespresso that I just got. And this actually is a cup that came with it. They gave me this cup for free. It's a little glass cup. Pretty much sits right here. And how this works is you literally just, I think you just turn it on just bump this thing here and it just pops up and then the pods go right there in that little cubby little hole there and then when you don't want it to be open you just hit that button and it closes itself automatically and then my kit came with this aerator which is kind of cool so this is for people who are super big coffee buffs 
This is essentially the thing that you put milk into that frosts it up and you can either make a latte with it or a cappuccino. You pretty much put milk in there and let's see if I can do this right. Yeah, so you just hit that red button there and it just spins it around in there and frosts it up. I'm gonna turn it back off. And then of course this, this is something that I already had. This is just a little bit of French vanilla sugar-free creamer. And then this is a coffee bean grinder that I use if I'm gonna do a French press or something, which I've got down uh, in my cabinets here. And this is just a protein shake maker. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys the pods that I got with it. So down here, I got all of these pods. They give, there's like a big deal they give you when you first sign on and get your first Nespresso. They give you, I think it was if you buy 10 of these sleeves, you get three sleeves free or two sleeves free or something. So anyway, this is like, a hundred dollars this essentially was a hundred and ten dollars with the with a ten dollar discount they gave me for all of these coffees but a lot of these coffees they're they're priced at like a dollar a piece essentially so every time you make a cup of coffee with this thing it is about a dollar so that is expensive you have to think about that but i'm telling you it's high quality coffee and a lot of these coffees that i have like this is a caramel cookie biscuit this is like specialty coffee stuff Let's see if this seems in there yeah, so a lot of these, one of them is pumpkin spice. Another one is, um, what is this, Congo, something from the Congo. This one's, they actually gave me this one in the store as a sample, and it's, it's actually really good. I actually drank this black without any cream or sugar, which I don't do. I'm, a, I'm the type of guy who needs cream and sugar in my coffee, but this is just such high quality, and it also has a kind of a frothy, milky flavor to a lot of their coffee so it uh a non-dairy milk kind of thing some kind of special technology with the brewing i'll show you in just a minute but now sophie's choice is which one do i want to make this morning you know what i think i want to make i saw somebody on youtube review this one that really looked good it's called uh vanilla custard pie let's make this so you open it up and as you can see there's 10 pods in here. These are all the, all the different sleeves have different pods and they're also, they have different colors too. So as you can tell, there's colors to each of these pods. So as I was saying, yeah, the, each of them have different colors and the barcode that you notice here, these little um, lines on the outside of it, that is actually how this machine reads exactly how much coffee volume to give this cup of coffee because this one is designed to be a 7.77 milliliter or 7.7 .7 ounce fluid ounce cup of coffee. But there are other cups that are little tiny espressos. I'll show you. They give you this as a welcoming gift when you first get in, uh, when you first buy your Nespresso with them. And it's a good example to show you kind of the different pods and the different sizes. It has a little guide here too that it shows you all the different types of cups of coffee they make. The um, espresso, the double espresso, the Grand Lungo, the regular coffee, which is what I'm gonna make. Um, actually, it's not what I'm gonna make, it's, but it's essentially the eight ounce cup of coffee normal that most of us want. The Alto, which is like 14 ounces. That's like a really big cup of coffee. Um, these are, uh, these are master origins. Okay, these must be like specialties or something here. I don't know too much about these. And then these are um, flavored coffees, which is what I'm gonna make. This one's 7.7 .7 ounces and it's the van vanilla custard pie. But they've got like hazelnut, they got caramel cookie, they got Bianco Forte, uh, and they even have some iced coffee blends over here too. And for an example, this is a 40 milliliter espresso pod. I'm throwing the dang thing. This is an espresso pod, and as you can tell, the barcode looks different, slightly different on this one, and it tells the machine to make much less coffee because as you can tell, there's this is a much smaller shot here. It's a much smaller pod, and this one will make a smaller little concentrated espresso. This one's a Voltiso, and this one makes much larger. So let's make it. our button. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm gonna taste test it now before I actually add any kind of cream or sugar or anything to it. I normally don't drink it black, like I said, but this coffee, you can drink black. And it makes it kind of that perfect temperature, so you can really drink it as soon as it's made. By the way, that's the water tank in the back here. On this model, it actually, the water tank can swing to this other side. If I want it to be on this side, it just kind of pendulum swings over here. Or if I want it to be slimmer, if you have like a little slim column, you're gonna try and fit this thing into. As you can see with my hand, it's a fairly slim machine. Uh, so this actually can swing to the direct back of it. So it's all in one line. I'll tell you what guys, half the job of a YouTuber is lining up these damn shots. I get tired of it. All right, so there's my cup of coffee. Ta-da! I'm gonna try it, all right? Actually, I've never tried this one yet, so I'm a little hyped. That foam on the top, it's called Crema, I believe. It's actually really good. Um, it's, it's not quite like a cappuccino, where a cappuccino is extremely frothy, kind of milky. This is not milk-based. It's pretty much coffee cream. And I guess people who are big espresso drinkers probably are used to this. Um, I had a Keurig before this, so I definitely wasn't used to this. I'm used to like burnt bean water pretty much and that you don't have to like put a bunch of sugar and cream into so you can just chug it down. So this is actually very smooth. Coffee content kind of flavor is a very rich flavor. The temperature is awesome. The temperature is just warm enough. I don't know how they do that because like with the Keurig, it's burning hot when it first comes out, like scalding water if you try to drink it right away, but then it immediately cools down to like cold water in about five minutes. Whereas this kind of maintains a little bit of a consistent uh, warmth and a heat to it that's not scalding hot. I, you know, it just came out and I didn't burn my mouth on it drinking it. But now I want to add some cream to it. I want to use my aerator that they gave me. Oh yeah, and I'll have to show you real quick here when you're done with the pod, this is what happens. You just, when you want to do the next one, you pop that up and it just pops that pod into the back. Now I'm not going to load another pod in, so I'm just going to close it. But it puts the pod in the back back here, which actually just pops out in the pod. Can you see it? Maybe not, but the pod is, is in there. It's dark, it's a dark cavern. But essentially the pod is used in there and you can recycle it and you can actually it holds up to about like eight or ten of those i think of those like little recycled ones and after uh you get about eight in there you put it in a little baggie and bring it to the store or you can put it out in the mail and uh and just recycle it and actually an espresso just pays to have it recycled for you because that's another reason why i wanted to use them instead of keurig because of the recycling issue all of these plastic k-cups that are ending up in landfills everywhere i like that nespresso is recycling these are aluminum they're easily recyclable and they actually do get recycled so Also, this thing is like $100 if you order it online by itself. And my Nespresso, they just gave it to me for free with mine. And uh, it was a bundle deal. I think I paid $150 for that Nespresso machine. Now, I will tell you, this is Nespresso Virtuo. There's a lot of Nespresso machines out there, so you need to decide which one works well for you. The original Nespresso really only makes espresso. So if you want the original Nespresso, that's gonna be um, a smaller, slightly smaller machine, but essentially the max volume it's gonna make is like four ounces maybe. So if you're not looking for like true espresso all the time and you actually want coffee, coffee sometimes, it's not gonna make that. So you really need the Virtuo. Now the Virtuo is this unit and there's a couple different Virtuos and essentially they all just do the exact same thing. There's like very slight features difference, but mostly they're the same thing. And uh, you just have to decide which color scheme you like more. And the other weird thing is they all cost a little bit differently. And I think it's just because they were made different years. And so they have slightly different prices, even though it really doesn't seem to do much different. There's one of them that actually makes a giant carafe of coffee, which is the only unique one that they've got that I, that's different than the other ones. 
but they're all slightly different pr prices. Some of them are like $200 and stuff. And I think really you're just paying that because aesthetically, maybe you just like the color that it is or something, but essentially it does the exact same thing as all the others. So I went with the one that I like the look of it, but it's also the best price. And also, they gave me a free welcoming gift of these mugs. These mugs were like 40 bucks. They gave you a set of two. They gave it to me for free with my kit and it comes with these fancy spoons too. So this is what it looks like when you put a little oat milk in your aerator and froth it up and turn it into kind of a premium cup of coffee right there. This cup of coffee would cost you Four fifty, five bucks, probably actually more than that in some coffee shops. So let me try it. Just the right amount of sweetness. I added a little, you probably saw that, a little shot of sugar-free French vanilla syrup, and it kind of ups the ante a little bit. And I really only put a touch in there because I don't like a lot of artificial sweetener flavors or anything like that. I feel like it ruins stuff. So, um, so I just like to have just a hit of it. I like it. I don't know if you can tell, but I like this thing. And I wanted to show you kind of my morning routine. Now this is my morning routine when I'm on call. So that's, that's the sad truth about today, guys. I have to go into work at 3 p.m. and I have to work from 3 p.m. to 7 a.m. tomorrow. And, uh, and so now I'm just kind of getting myself prepped for the day and I'm debating what else I want to do with the day. Sometimes I will schedule mock interviews in this first part of the day. Other times I try not to because it actually starts fatiguing me out. If I do too much, if I pack my day full of too many things, and then especially if I have a really long night and I'm hammered at work and I'm going, going, going with no stops or breaks, I'll really start regretting the fact that I didn't rest earlier in the day and, and kind of keep my energy levels up. The other thing I think about on these days is should I work out? Some 16 hour shifts, when I do call shifts in the evening, I will work out the morning of, you know, like 10, 11, 12 o'clock or something, and then shower and change. But essentially, you're going to shower and change. You're not going to have time to rest. You're, you're going to get your stuff together and then go into work. And then if you get slammed at work tonight, you're screwed because uh, you're going to be tired. You, you're going to have, like, you know, burnt the candle at both ends. So you really have to schedule your day carefully when you're doing 16 hour call shifts at night. What I'm tempted to do is go play my PlayStation 5, which I'm feeling like is gonna win. I feel like that is gonna be the answer to my problems here. If this was not a call day, like this was a normal work day where I was going into work, this would look very different. This would have been a quick uh, coffee I would not have done in this aerating anything. I would have just dumped my coffee in a to-go mug, took off, I would have had a protein shake for breakfast, really fast, uh, you know, it would have been 6 a.m. and I would, you know, be Russian. So this is, this is definitely a more of a chill morning, which I appreciate. I almost forgot, I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. What the heck, I got so busy making this cup of coffee, I forgot I haven't eaten breakfast. I need to make breakfast. Now, some people have criticized me over the years for my breakfast. When I post this on Instagram over the years when I've done that, People will be like, what are you eating? What the heck is that? That looks gross. Are you carb loading? Are you uh, trying to bulk up or something? I'm like, no, this is my normal breakfast. What the heck? It is Greek yogurt right here. Uh, organic peanut butter, the kind you gotta stir up that like, you know, separates with oil or whatever in the can. And then usually some kind of cereal, like uh, just add crunch and then some kind of fruit, either usually an apple, maybe a banana, but that's good to me. I mean, maybe that is a lot of sugar content, but it's breakfast, it's the morning, and I usually drink a lot of sugar content. My hemoglobin A1C is like 5.1, so I'm good, don't worry about it. And I pretty much am always watching YouTube. Uh, I am not only a content creator of YouTube, I am a lover of YouTube. Actually, my love of YouTube back in 2013, 2014 is what got me started making my own channel and doing my own stuff. So uh, to this day, years later, YouTube is probably my primary entertainment method that I use. More than Netflix, more than anything else, I watch a lot of YouTube channels. So YouTube creators, I love you. So you have a long day of going outside to go to the bathroom and eating breakfast. You all tuckered out. Yeah, I think you might be.
Let me show you real quick the game I'm playing. Mass Effect, baby. There's my Commander Shepard. This game is awesome. This is the Legendary Edition remade on the PS5. Beautiful on this OLED screen, crazy beautiful. Obviously you can tell I chose not to go to the gym and to play my PlayStation. And that's gonna be the route I'm gonna take. Uh, and we'll see how tonight goes. Maybe I'll vlog tonight. I don't know if I'll vlog being on call tonight. I've done that before. Check out some of my other videos if you're interested in the on call at night vlog. And I think I'm gonna end it here because this is pretty much my morning. It's, it's about 9.30 in the morning now. So this is essentially like what a morning with me on call, or uh, uh, when I'm free, when I'm off for the day. This is essentially what you would expect to see. And might be some variations on certain days, but essentially this is, this is it. And uh, in case you're wanting an espresso, uh, I might link it down below. I'll see, I, I'm, I have those Amazon affiliate links, so I might use that. And if you guys want an espresso, I'll link it down below so that you can click the link and then, you know, I think I get like a penny or something off of it. So do that if you want one and I highly recommend them. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me over there. I do daily content, you know, goofy stuff. Same for TikTok. A lot of TikTok videos and funny stuff, uh, more of the comedy, sometimes some inspirational, but mostly just goofy comedy stuff. And uh, if you have not hit that like button, or the subscribe button, what the heck are you doing? Come back, I'm here every Monday. I post every Monday, have been for years. Come on back and hang out with us next time. And that's gonna be both.